for years, everyone understands we've been circulating print books at the library and maybe for 15 years we've had the option of our customers being able to download ebooks and obviously a new technology. It's important that I think behind the scenes customers understand it actually works in the library the same way as a print book. What I mean by that is one ebook for one download per customer. Even though the technology might allow thousands to use it at one time, libraries have worked out an arrangement with Macmillan and other publishers that we will buy multiple copies of ebooks so that our customers may download um, the multiple copies, but it's still one on one. Now, Macmillan has said to us, we're no longer going to sell new books to you for the first eight weeks um, that they hit the street, and that means the same time they hit the library. And so that's where we really draw the line and say Macmillan is singling out a particular customer class, public libraries, and saying, we won't sell to you anymore. And on behalf of our customers who rely on us to access material, we just think that's wrong, and so it's time to fight back. What have you guys done um, in order to fight back? Well, we've participated with uh, our other libraries in national efforts. So the American Library Association has an online petition that customers are able to sign. I know there's approaching a quarter million signatures, and the state that has the most customers who have signed happens to be Ohio. So we have passionate users here. We're working with the Urban Libraries Council to assemble letters of support from uh, local politicians, mayors, county executives, and others, and that's uh, gaining steam as well. We're just having conversation with our peers all around the country. How are they reacting to it? What are they hearing from their customers? Sharing information with each other about what we should decide to do. And for Columbus and the other uh, libraries who make up our local consortium here that share uh, digital downloads. Uh, we've decided we're not going to buy Macmillan during this time period when they're allowing us to only have one copy regardless of the size of our library. We just think that's wrong and it's time to, as I said, fight back. Macmillan claims to have many conversations with librarians, but we're pretty networked with our peers all over the country and while there may have been a few conversations, there haven't been many. So as a private company, they, we do not have access to their data, but if they worked with us, they could have access to our data. Not only what we're purchasing from Macmillan and others, but also uh, the amount of materials that are being downloaded um, by library customers. So there's been a real gap there between being able to share data. We understand some of it's proprietary, business intelligence, we probably can't have access to it but we've been uh, extending an olive branch to Macmillan for months saying, sit down with us. We have to be able to find a better solution that's going to work not only for you and the authors you represent, but for libraries and the customers that we represent. Why are you so passionate about protecting the customers? I think when you look at libraries in this country as a, as a society, we've decided that it's a very good thing that students and, and entrepreneurs and business people and seniors and others have access to reading material for school, for work, for leisure material. We have, as a society have said that's a very positive thing. Making sure children um, have not only the ability to read but a love of reading because it's an essential life skill. Uh, we've had uh, our rights through the uh, copyright law and the first sale doctrine libraries have been able to circulate materials so this whole system has been set up to share information which ultimately we think has a very positive effect on society now we're saying we're going to start to change that and only those who are able to purchase new material are the ones who have access to it so we're setting up a very different society and we think that's worth fighting for i think the only way this ultimately gets resolved is by more conversations. Either it's going to happen between Macmillan and libraries or our professional organizations who represent us, or it's going to happen through conversations at the congressional level. 
because the House Judiciary Committee has already been in conversations with the American Library Association who has submitted data to them about this issue. I think there's a level of interest at the federal level. So we can spend our time talking to each other and working out a viable solution or we can spend a lot of money on attorneys and having them represent us. And I think we all lose at that level. It would be just a good business sense for us to sit down and work this out and just find a solution that um, takes into account everyone's interest and I think we can get to win-win. So the physical checkout of materials today is about 12 and a half million and the digital uh, which would be ebooks and e audiobooks is a little over three million. So it's about a four to one ratio at this point. This, uh, the technology and the use in libraries has been evolving over the last several years. And um, what customers may not see is that um, libraries are now required, as determined by the publishers, to pay five to six times what a customer might pay for a book. So out of the gate, we're paying a whole lot more for the information that we then have the ability um, to download or customers may download from the library. But what also uh, has been implemented by the publishers is after two years or 26 downloads, we have to buy the item again at the higher price. And so we have been good partners in trying to get to a solution and trying to support publishers, trying to support authors. I don't think they've come back and uh, have been good partners with us. And so now saying that we can't purchase at all, even with those onerous terms, um, that just crossed the line for us.